Okay, here we go. Impromptu. On the right hand side we see our script for our conference presentation on the social brain and small world networks, which goes on and on and on and on and on and on. This script matches slides which we see in this window, which are high res slides which go on and on and on. So this is our composition. This is the composition that we've been working on for low many weeks to have a image and a uh, word side-by-side -side dual presentation. On the left hand side is a recording of the raw footage. Three minutes and counting on my clock, Fran. And it went like this. We skipped ahead. Most they, people could not do it. Now you see we're reading out the script. Instead, I said, remember this. And 1001. That's one of these slides. Zero, 100. That's this, uh, and 1001. Most people would be able to do it because I have grouped it into three chunks. Like that. Okay. So what let's, let's, counts not, as a, let's not get lost in this. So, so that's happening. And then we edited it, as you've seen us do in this series multiple times, and turned it into this. So notice we have a title card. We have intro music, which is Studio 2 Renew, which we did in this series. And uh, we did color composition for the background, which matches the color from a previous video we did in this series. And we did, if you didn't notice this, we sequenced the titles, Title 1, Title 2, because it's a complicated title. And there we cross-faded into introduction. And notice we have introduction labeled in the same matching color, so there's a color match, and also uh, the present presenter, which is us, will begin immediately with this slide. So we cut to the chase. Students, faculty, and associates, welcome to this presentation, Composing for the New Era, the Social Brain and Small World Networks in the Metaverse. Then we skip ahead, and this is the edited down to 24 minutes version. Uh, the original version is actually uh, twice that long, but half of it is audience engagement, which we don't put in a public video because you can't chat two-way with a one-way video. But in a metaverse environment like this was done in, you can interact in voice and in text, and, and we did. And so the, the, the original recording that you saw first includes all of the interaction with the audience. So we skip ahead, we skip ahead, and... Um, See, we can match our little slides down here. Small world networks link strangers through. We use lots arms. of vision. We and also we also attempted to modulate our voice and our timbre, like we have learned to do on the stream. We used pauses for ideas to sync in. We used emphasis on connected members have exotic, exotic connections, exotic connections like that. Exotic. Exotic, 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 dum dum, which is an interval of probably seven. What is that? Dum dum. Uh, nope, it's eight, which is a favorite interval among after seven. So then we come to the end and have our big wrap up, just like we do in music. Thank you. Over and out. Fade into the extra. So, we completed that, and that's only, as we said, been on our minds for months. And we knew it. We deliberately set out to do that as a, as a mastery through 
application of principles, including music and composition. So our reflections in this series, as well as this chapter, are that those presentations charts you saw had, uh, well, I don't think I sold them to you, but down here we have some presentation charts. that are modeled on what we did for uh, how we teach teamwork. You'll see they have a horizontal blue line and a vertical red line and a diagonally rising red line. And we're using the visual background to tie together how all of these concepts connect, putting it all together. So we're, we're using a conceptual theme of putting it all together and it reinforcing it with a, a visual theme of where it's all put together. And we were in our mind saying, well, how do we do that with music? And in music, we've learned to do it by having the composition be in arcs. And each arc kind of has a beginning and a middle and, and, a, and a, a cadence. It's either a statens where it kind of has a rest, ends on a rest, or it's a uh, half cadence that ends on an urging, or it's an ambivalence where it's kind of ending on a clashing floating. So we, we modeled that here. Um, and again, our metaphor was the, we basically started with four key concept charts. This one, this one, this one, and this one. The, these were our cadence backbone. This is where we were aiming from the beginning. Bam, 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 bam. Um, and it took, I, this is interesting. How would we do this in a music, like in an opera or something, you would have an overture where you kind of, ring the themes and uh, but in this case we had to get everyone on the same page with the background data and that's what we called the first arc the first arc was data and then we had an interactive part where we stopped to let things sink in and had them use pencil and paper and interact visually uh, with the material and, and textually. Then we picked up the third arc, which was putting it all together. This is the cumulative uh, rising sequences of energy story cadences, whatever you want to call it. And then we kind of used um, two key bumps. What is the metaverse? And you've seen us do that in several other presentations. So this, what is the metaverse is a recurring musical theme that this is the fourth presentation that we've invoked it. And then what, you know, what do you do with all this? That's the pro tip. So I don't, you know, if you said, what was a grand theme? It, it was, it was probably this right here and this, and you know, if we were to do this again, I mean, this was a long drawn out part. What are the pro tips? On the other hand, it's a conference and you're supposed to give them nuts and bolts things to do, which we did. Cause we remember we have a, a full script here. So the pro tips are all, these are, these are the pro tips right here. And if you're interested, it is on YouTube, ka -ching, it's on our YouTube channel. So anyway, we're, we're tickled. We're really tickled. And we're also tickled at having um, composed visually, visually. All right. So, and it is time to begin the next series. What is the next series you ask? And that is, we're going to call it Composing in Vision and Sound. We have ended up doing book, bokus of um, recordings in, in this first quarter. And a lot of them, um, where are my recordings? They're over here. Uh, a lot of them are... are editable for music. This is the interview you want to do. Um, uh, anyway, there's a bunch. In, this is the one that we uh, need to feature. Um, these need editing and posting on YouTube. And another chance to put some music in there. So we have to compose some more music. We ran out of music to put in the videos, guys. Hooray! Music is... We're going to be composing music again on this music channel of Twitch. Um... And I guess we're really tickled that we used the Studio 2 music. Um,
Now, we shared that at open mic. We shared a bunch of other stuff at open mic. Um, we're also finding that some of the videos we've uh, worked on in this in this very series are, and the one just before it, are, one of them is just picking up all kind of views, which, I mean, we're not usually all about the views, but it's, it's kind of nice because we're featuring somebody's work who we really respect their work. Um, we'll show you exactly what we mean. We'll show you exactly what we mean. This one called Libraries in the Metaverse. It's just, it's just not quitting. It's got 600 views and counting in uh 132 days which last time i counted that was that's five new views a day that's not us looking at it we, we were done looking at it way back here when we checked everything so it's just like you know whatever 132 days is divided by 30 is what is that four five four and a half months so even here on the now graph you know in the last whatever period that is the last 48 hours that's the last 60 even in the last two days one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so that's eleven and two days so yeah it's five a day so so that kind of reinforces our interest to uh for the new series composing in vision and sound because that video has our music introing and extruing okay our results uh we, we already covered this we made the new we made the new presentation. We gave the new presentation. Um, we also completed installing a new high-end computer for our household. We have this laptop here, which we've taken pictures of at times, but we put in a new one over there for our family to use, which also coincidentally is a backup for us. And by high-end, we mean it's video editing capable. It's spec for video editing, which means it automatically works for virtual uh, environment platforms, especially 3D platforms, and it automatically works for uh, VR headsets. We don't have a VR headset yet, but when we get one, as eventually most of us will, right, just we're still waiting for it to see if it's really a thing or not, uh, it'll also feed that just fine. Uh, it, anyway, we also learned some new utilities about dealing with monitors and, and tiling windows, and um, we found Ivy Demux, which is a video footage keyframe clipper. So when we show you all these many, many files here in the old days, we used to take each of these MKV files, convert it, convert it to an MP4 file, which OBS does. And then we would open it up in Vegas, and then we would clip the beginning and clip the end and, and render it. And we just turned it into a humongous file size, which was just awful. But with Avi Demux, you can just open it directly, clip it to the nearest keyframe at the beginning and the end, save it without any re-rendering, post it to Dropbox, and um, we'll even show you that. I mean, we're just psyched about it because it's, it's letting us continue to continue to take footage, which is, that's where we really, this is multimedia animation. That is what what we really want. Okay, that was the wrong thing. We want the web. Yeah, so this is what this looks like on the web. You know, so all of these people here, we have uh, a, a file in there that they can download directly. And for that matter, they could even just click it and watch it. It's directly watchable on Dropbox. So I don't know how new that is or that's a thing, but Look, that's 23 minutes of video. I don't have to edit and render in order to get it to them. I just send the Dropbox link and they can play it because they don't. Well, one of them will download it and edit it at some point, but not us. Not us. So we've done the favor of videoing it for them. It's 1920 by 1080. It's, it's good quality sound. It's good quality image. And it's available. And because we have an upped... Dropbox account, we, we're not, we're not going to run out of space. We have room for a thousand of these things, and we are deleting them when they get done with them. So that's kind of cool. 
that's really cool as a matter of fact okay what are we done here what's left to talk about yes and finally and this is a teaser uh, for our next series Im which is imminent um, this is the kind of footage Welcome to the theater of light Thank you for joining us today as we present Phoenix Rising, specially created for Rockcliffe and the Virtual World's Best Practices in Education Conference. We enter spring looking for positivity. And here's an example. I'm singing solo, solo. I'm singing solo, solo. Anyway, that's a teaser. That's what's next in our series, which will be called Composing in Vision and Sound. So this completes this episode, this chapter, this series. Our ideas for next time are to begin the new series with the recordings of the real life and the metaverse dancer, choreographer, and designer. We want to give a big shout out to Miss Cleo, Silent Lurker, crafty procrastinator, steady worker, and apologies to all those chat who we were late responding to. We appreciate you. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming. <laughs>